Hello, this is John Kanalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, the Laser Vision uh, Clinical Research Institute and Clinical Professor of Ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York City. It's really a pleasure to share with you a very, very complex presentation. And I'm going to try and do my best in order to um, pass on all the principles in hand here. We're trying to obviously perform intraocular lens power calculation for toric lens in keratoconic eyes. Um, and we're suggesting a novel methodology of using a topography guided ablation simulation to define the amount uh, and axis of cylinder to be used in a toric lens. So this is the uh, essence. My financial disclosures relevant to this presentation go with Alcon um, and OptiView. Uh, in essence, the problem in a patient, and I'll run with a patient example here, a 70-year-old lady who presented with bilateral cataracts, uh, and as we always do in our cataract uh, surgery population, we performed cornea imaging that clearly reveals that there are significant keratoconus here, which was left undiagnosed all these years. Uh, we can see from a refraction that the left eye is more needy for cylinder, and her visual acuities are such that uh, require cataract surgery uh, along with the difficulty with uh, night driving and um, going down uh, white uh, staircases with bright light, which is very common in Greece. Um, and the problem though here is that each measurement that we'll see, and on the left we're seeing the uh, placido reflection topographies uh, with the Oculus device. On the uh, right we're seeing uh, Pentacam images, uh, which measure total cornea power, and I want to underline that, very important. Uh, we're going to go to the where we have on the left-hand side the Lenstar uh, keratometry measurements, and Lenstar measures a circle, central circle to the vertex of uh, 2, 8, and 3, 2 millimeters to, re to gain keratometric measurements. And uh, on the right hand, uh, the uh, uh, Tomei OA200 device, which is our uh, second interferometer, uh, besides the third one, which is the Allen Ma Master. And the, the difference between all these devices is that they give completely different keratometries as far as uh, keratometric power and axis. And it is obvious because we're measuring in a regular cornea. Invariably, keratoconic eyes are steeper infratemporally. So depending on the diameter we're going to go outside the visual axis or the cornea vertex, the keratometry will essentially change. And more uh, worrisome is that the axis and the amount of uh, cylinder measured in total cornea power will change as well. Obviously, all these devices measure surface uh, cornea, not total cornea power, besides the uh, tier segment OCT, OptiView, uh, Avanti measurements, and the uh, Pentacam. And we're seeing on the bottom left here the cataracts uh, of um, this uh, lady. And we're going on to further measurements, and I'm using this example to run you through our thought process. Uh, we're, we're selecting the 5 millimeter to total cornea power on Pentacam, which is the top right image. Uh, and circled are the keratometries and the average K that was used in the formula. Uh, and the formula that we used, the go-to formula, was the um, Holiday 1 formula. And I'll explain in a little bit why. And um, on the bottom uh, left image, we're seeing both of this patient's eyes and the milieu within the uh, red circles of keratometries. Different autorefraction keratometry, different uh, uh, pentacam, different uh, reflection topography, different keratometry from the uh, Lenstar, different from the Tomei device, different from the IL Master. Um, and on the bottom, middle bottom image is a simulation using the Alcon Wavelight topography guided platform and this is available outside the US. Uh, in the US only the Placido disk derived topography, the Contura uh, software is available and uh, with up to a six millimeter optical zone. So outside the US we're able to import in a separate topo guided platform the Pentacam data, choose a five millimeter optical zone and use the simulated treatment only to define the amount of cylinder that we feel this patient functionally has and the axis of that cylinder. And this will be the cylinder that the device will correct. And this is the key point of this presentation and our study.
Looking here uh, again, uh, as example in this patient, the left eye, and again, the uh, lens that was selected was a plus 11 T9. Uh, we can see, um, we saw that the actual plano lens was a 9.5, and, and we chose 11 because this was a non dominant eye, and we're shooting for uh, a minus 1 to minus 125 uh, myopia in this non dominant eye. We're seeing again the topo guided. Uh, it, for 5 millimeter optical zone based on the Pentacam simulation on the middle top, the actual lens, the T9 lens uh, placed in the patient, this is a surgeon's view at the um, 103 degree axis at the end um, of the uh, cataract procedure. And then the uh, Alcon IOL calculator for the Acrosoft um, um, aspheric uh, toric lens, which is which is our go-to lens for uh, the last decade almost, and uh, how the axis of the lens to be implanted is defined. In summary, uh, we looked at 42 consecutive cases, and this is also a testament to how many keratoconic eyes we're seeing in our cataract population. And I assure you that if you measure topography in your cataract surgery population, you will increase these quote-unquote surprise keratoconic patients that never knew they had keratoconus in their lives. We ran uh, IO calculation with our three standard formulas, SRKT, the Holiday 1, and the Hoffer Q formulas. And of the three, we went to the Holiday 1 formula because it gave the highest power lens. And we chose that because we wanted to avoid hyperopic surprises in these keratoconic eyes. We preferred to go a little bit more myopic than hyperopic. And uh, again, the Ks used were those of the total cornea power at 5 millimeters with the pentacam maps and the axis and amount of astigmatism that uh, suggested by the topo guided software uh, by uh, Alcon Wave Light using the same Pentacam uh, maps that we use for the keratometric power. And obviously, we looked at all the uh, parameters uh, vision, uncorrected, corrected, refraction uh, for up to 12 months. And here are on the left the images of uh, other in the study. So, in results, uh, as I mentioned before, the, uh, uh, the Holiday 1 uh, formula calculated the highest IOL spherical power. So that's why we uh, preferred to choose that and went with that. Uh, we had a dramatic improved uh, improvement in the uncorrected visual acuity, obviously, which is rewarding. And it, it is really reassuring that we're on the right path here uh, and a dramatic improvement in the um, uh, myopic uh, invariably refraction of these patients and the uh, cylindrical refraction of these patients uh, in average. In uh, conclusion, we are suggesting in this novel uh, methodology that the IL power calculation in keratoconic patients uh, is by all means very challenging because of the variability in cornea power and axis measured for every different uh, part of the cornea that we decide that is going to be the functional part of the cornea for this patient. Um, to underline here that most interferometry and autorefraction devices measure central cornea keratometry usually between 2.5 and 3.2 millimeter diameter. Emetropia approximation, according to the study, was superior when we uh, picked the 5 millimeter total cornea uh, power uh, with the Pentacam and um, used the simulation with a Pentacam driven topo guided on the um, Alcon Wave Light platform to define the amount and axis of astigmatism to be used through the uh, Holiday 1 formula. Uh, and uh, our results appear to be safe and effective. Last note here, it is obvious uh, common knowledge that patients that have been a very successful um, rigid gas permeable contact lens or sterile uh, contact lens users are not good candidates for toric intraocular lens uh, calculations. So obviously this methodology will only apply for the keratometry used, which we would suggest is the average keratometry for five millimeters with the total cornea data provided by the Pentacam. Thanks so much for uh, 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 following up this presentation and allowing us to share this very fascinating data of the work that we've been conducting the several uh, three, four years that have enabled us to uh, approach as much as possible uh, 
towards the Emetropia goal in these very challenging patients. This is uh, John Canalopoulos from our office in Athens signing out. Thank you so much.